Okay, uh, here's a summary of the unit conversion. So uh, just I uh, corrected the necessary conversion calculation. So you could uh, review that. So in many cases, we obtained the information of the light was uh, wavelengths in nanometer or uh, energy in uh, electron volt. So uh, either one of the from either one of them we call uh, convert the, the convert the numbers. So I didn't uh, write he, it here, but um, this can be uh, converted by so E could be obtained by uh, thousand two hundred forty uh, divided by lambda in nanometer, and once you can obtain the energy in electron volt. You can convert the energy to um, the one photon energy uh, multiplied by 1.6 times uh, 10 to the minus 90s. And if you want to know the energy in Kaiser, you just uh, multiply about 8,000. And if you need the energy per in a kilojoule per more, it's uh, roughly a hundred times of electron volt. And once you can obtain a kilojoule per mole energy, uh, you can obtain kilocalorie per mole by divided by the uh, 4.2. So uh, let's fill in the this um, this chart because um, as I mentioned, so uh, depending on the field. And we use a different types of the energy unit. And that's sometimes it's confusing what type of uh, energy we are thinking about. So uh, it's very uh, convenient if you co convert the energy roughly. Um, and then uh, I showed uh, uh, some of the examples, some of the important examples. And uh, for example, uh, one is in the case of ultraviolet light and the wavelength is given by, by 300 nanometer. And in, in physics, uh, silicon is uh, um, one of the most important materials and the band gap of the silicon is about one electron volt. And, and in the chemistry, um, vibrational energy is quite important, especially OH vibrational energy you have to think about when you use water. And the absorption is around uh, 3000 Kaiser. And when you think about the chemical bond, and this is a shear shear bond, which is not so strong, but uh, kind of typical, uh, typically uh, dissociated by uh, light. It's around 250 kilojoule per mole. So uh, please stop the video and uh, fill in the other blank parts by uh, using the conversion of energy. So um, let's check out the your answers. And it's uh, just um, a very easy calculation. So you could, the key, uh, key things I want to uh, emphasize is you, I want you to know the, how big or how small the number is for in, in different un, energy unit. The, the thing. So in the ultraviolet of 300 nanometer in electron volt is uh, um, it's it's one and in the Kaiser it's like three thirty three thousand which is a quite larger number compared with OH vibrational energy. And the energy of the, in kilojoule is 396, which is a quite um, larger energy than the typical chemical, chemical uh, bone energy. And when we think about the band gap energy of silicon, the, in the wavelengths, it's like, 1240, so it's more uh, near infrared to infrared region. And in Kaiser, which is 
thousand hundred uh, kaiser, which is uh, uh, larger than the vibrational, but uh, smaller than ultraviolet wave. And uh, in, in energy, it's around uh, the 97 kilojoule per mole, so which is uh, smaller than the, the, the chemical bond energy. And in uh, about uh, OH vibrational energy, the wavelengths, oh, maybe once you got the, the energy in Kaiser can be uh, converted into the, the electron body power, which is uh, 0.37. And, and quite small, corresponding to 3,400 nanometer, which is in the uh, uh, visible uh, you know, infrared region. And the in energy in the kilojoule per mole, it's around, around 40. And for about the shear shear bond energy, first uh, this one converted to the electron volt, which is around 2.6 electron volt. And this electron, this energy corresponds to 480 nanometer and corresponding to the, the 21,000 Kaiser. So uh, you could roughly guess how big or how small for um, each of the case. Okay, then the last part is this lecture, uh, in the lecture one is light recognition. So I want you to keep in mind that the, we have a sensor of light and this sensor actually has a very high sensitivity. Of course, I'm talking about eye. So the sensitivity of eye is still quite good compared with the very sophisticated high sensitivity uh, detector. So I want you to keep in mind that if you have a sample and if your sample has a color, please check the color at first. So, this is the first step of the color recognition. And then uh, this is the first step of the spectroscopy. Your eye has already kind of the, the spectroscopy uh, ability. And the other things, when you looking, when you look at the object and check the color, the key things you have to be in mind is the color you are seeing is not the color of the object, actually. And this one is, uh, is shown here. So if you have an object or if you have a uh, cell, optical cell, and what you are seeing is light is irradiated and deflected right you are observing or well, light is uh, irradiated and some of the light is absorbed and the rest of the light you are seeing so this things you are seeing is called a uh, complementary color right so which is uh, the transmitted or refractive color refracted colors uh, without being absorbed so what I mentioned is the so sunlight is basically has many uh, broad wavelengths region. So meaning white light, so white, so broad wavelengths. Paint. So, what you are seeing by reflecting or transmitted is basically the, the rest of the color not absorbed by the materials. This is called as a complementary color. So there's a very nice, easy um, 
chart. And this one I like. And you could uh, roughly see how the materials um, absorb the light. So for example, very easy. If you have a yellow object, it's most likely absorb the uh, violet light. Wavelength is about 400 nanometer. This um, probably you will frequently observe. It's about uh, near the near the well, uh, UV region of light is absorbed. If you are seeing the green solution, it absorbs the light of the 650 nanometer of red light. So, and probably opposite case you uh, uh, encountered a red solution. If you have a red solution, this red solution absorbs a green light, which is around uh, 510 nanometer. So, as you can see, only by checking the color, you can roughly know which wavelength region the, does the sample you are dealing with uh, have the absorption. So uh, this is a very fast initial step for the spectroscopy. So uh, please use your eye for uh, understanding your material at first in any cases. So uh, with that, uh, let me finish the lecture one.